How long have we been doing videos? I don't know. Long five time. years? Four years? Five, six All right. years? No, yeah, five years, yeah. After five years of never... After five years of doing videos and never having to do an intro, I have to apparently do an intro. So I'd like to introduce you to... She's the last one to put her back. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, Big Rhonda and Friends. So, Big Rhonda and Friends. Big Rhonda and Friends. Welcome to Microtech's Big Rhonda and Friends. Yes. Why is it Big Rhonda? Uh, Let's explain. get into that in the video. Yes. Knife shop. <laughs> Uh, Big Rhonda, were you not here for this? No. You were here for, wasn't he Yeah, he was, he was filming our yes. video upstairs, yeah. Uh, yeah. Big Rhonda. <laughs> he tunes out when he films you off. You're talking about Big Rhonda, he's just like, I can't wait to have a travel salad for lunch. <laughs> that a friend of mine knows that was like mac and hard on this like young kid, adult, legal, totally. And said friend had to have a... The fact you had that caveat. I'm just explaining... Um, you say young kid, I mean you gotta... Like, Barely yeah, like yeah. 19. Um, and she was, he'd have a talk with her and be like, Look, Rhonda, like, you can't do this. And so she had latched onto new person. And she's a very healthy woman from the South. So she's a big old Rhonda. Big Rhonda. Big Rhonda. So, right, so this is big this Rhonda. This is big Rhonda. Cause this, uh, yeah. So I was really surprised how big this was. When That's it showed massive, up. man. Yeah. What is it normally called? <laughs> the Matrix? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Are we going to enter? <laughs> no, uh, we're not. So big the, Rondomite. So the mini Matrix was a little <laughs> too small. Uh, this is a little too big. I have to admit, though, I really want to take this apart. It's a very interesting looking design. Yeah, start so it's like it's it. inlay in inlay in liner in integrated lock in, in integrated clip in... Uh, it's, it's, an, it's an interesting looking construction a method. Super proud fucking non glass breaker. Doesn't well, it come no, it's with no, there, there, It's in there. It's in there. So that's my one complaint about this knife is this makes it look very Chinese. But, well, that glass breaker. Well, well, yeah. I mean, it has a right knife logo. That <laughs> right knife logo makes it also look Chinese. But this glass breaker, yeah. you know what I mean? That, that if looks you, nice. I mean, if this you is told also me that China. that was American made, I believe you. Yeah, you told me this was American made, I'd be like, mm, really? I don't know. Is that, a, is that an <laughs> yeah. aftermarket glass breaker? Because that is Chinese as fuck. Do you remember the four prong ones at the? Oh yeah. Had? Oh yeah. I had one of those for a while. I kept putting holes in my arm. Yeah. I had to get rid of it. All right, let's but move on I from got, Big Ronda. I gotta apologize for the this annex is mine and it's is dirty. I quite I use it quite a lot and, and I and I like it a hell of a lot, uh, much more than I thought I would. I actually really like this mini matrix or the mini socom. Mini, uh, the mini socom. Yep. I don't hate it. Yeah, it fits my hands it. and I have littler hands. I mean, and I I like the stitches. I kind of always have. Yeah, stitches have done well. Cipher twos have done well. Yeah. Uh, amphibians. Um, I mean, every Ramlock, uh, so, okay, so. MSIs. We, we should have brought up that uh, the theme of the video was manual Microtex. Oh, is it? I didn't know there was a theme. Yeah, that was the theme of the video. Oh. We just brought that all the manual sense. Microtex. Is this tapered? So, that's tapered Ta and integral, yeah. So, oh, wow. So, it's a, it's a mono, it's mono titanium tapered. Um, no seams. Yeah, tapered chassis. Um, Wow. Which I owned it for probably a week before I realized that. It's not the easiest thing to front flip. It's going to tear Don't holes. knock anything over. It's gonna, don't hit Big Ron. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. leave Big Ron alone, all right? Happy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I really like the direction, Chinese made discussion aside, I really like the direction that Microtech is going with their foray into manual knives. They're, I mean, they're crushing it on all fronts right now, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing really, really well. And like the G10 MSIs, I mean, what's uh, retail on those? 178. Yeah, yeah, 170, yeah. 175, yeah. like, you're kidding me. Are like, those the G10 made. ones or those the polymer ones? Uh, they might be polymer, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So but they, even uh, still, like, they even are... still, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're com made, uh, uh, they're, they're com M390-ish, you know? Yeah. I mean, they're competing with, like, a a bailout. Ooh, that's yeah. And you can get an MSI. Yeah. A Ramlock MSI. With a fucking bug out and a Griptilian. No, well, okay, okay. 
let's add 30 bucks to that price. You know what I mean? So $30 is significant. That's strong. Yeah, what are you going to do? I don't know. I thought the base level bug out was 160 <laughs> No, 150 100, no, no, it's 170 it's, No, it is? It's, it's, it's like 162 I think now, like the blue handle. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's 162, 162. Okay. So for 10 bucks more. Or you can get an MSI. You can get an MSI. So that's just wild. Yeah. That is what that is. That's little micro bit of stick. Little yeah. bit of stick, but br brand new. It's yeah, probably yeah. the first couple of times it's ever been opened. And not enough that would... Deter I mean, you from really using it. Well, and... And it's sticking closed, which yeah, is my yeah. favorite kind of yeah, stick. Or, yeah, right. Like, it's not sticking, you know what I mean? It's yeah, not yeah. sticking when I'm trying to get it open. Mm -hmm. Something sticking sticking open, I can live with that. I think, I Although, think this one ooh, has no problems. Yeah. This one has no problems. It's just drop shutting. I think that's a pre-owned one. No, it's brand new. Is it? Yeah. No, we had a pre-owned one up there. I kind of sort of want one of these. Oh, my locks. goodness, no, you don't. Why not? Not that one. Why not? Because. Serrated? Stitches are, um, stitches are also... Heavily, heavily faked too. Yeah. I will say, like with the autos, I mean, I love the stitch. I got an auto, and like I'm left-handed, and I usually don't really give a shit, like with left-handed knives and stuff. But the that stitch is the so auto much. stitch. It's the only one that I was like, it doesn't work for me. Doesn't work as for a left-hander. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, these Ramlocks are, I think, a cool, cool addition. Yeah, I do like them. I do like them. And then the Socom Bravo Mini would be the next thing we talk about here. We just did. Well, kind of. It fits in your hands, but. Yeah. And my hands, because I have smaller hands. I mean, hands it's the exact same as like the SOCOM. Yeah, this is the Bravo this, full size. The full size Bravo has been covered to death. I mean, what are you going to say about it that yeah. hasn't already been said? It's, it's just a just, petite version. Yeah, yeah, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a Bravo 85. It's, it's not quite it wee. Yeah. It's just small. It's a good size. I mean, overall, it's about the size of a of a of a bug out. Yep. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've had comments. I've had more than one comment about this about how small the handle is on the NX. It's not small at all. Well, compared to the blade. <coughs> it's proportionate. <clears throat> and uh, I have to tell people, uh, it looks like it's gonna be uncomfortable, and it definitely is not. Hmm. I would prefer more blade than handle. Yeah, uh, but um, the blade, uh, even though the handle looks small on in camera and like in pictures, uh, because <coughs> the blade's so big, it really is not. It's really still a nice knife to use. I really have been very happy. It's my first Chinese. Jesus, I think it's one of my first. Is this my first Chinese knife? Can't be my first Chinese knife. Oh, well, depends on how you look at it. I'll explain that later. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, until she tells me different, I'm pretty sure this is my first Chinese knife. Somebody's got to help me here. All right. Yes. It is. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm like. I'm like I, the Kershaw cryo doesn't count. Oh yeah, I did have a polished cryo. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so Kershaw cryo didn't count. I, I think I actually so gave that to my wife. Pull it too, out so. and yeah, then you use your open. thumb. Okay. Me? Well, yeah. I stopped. I stopped um, front flipping it because um, the jipping's pretty aggressive, and after you front flip it two or three times, you start to get a start to feel it. You start to get a hole in your thumb. Like it, it's already making, you know what I mean? Already making marks. So if you're using it a lot and doing a lot of stuff with it, I generally open it. I generally open it this way, which is not the greatest, but you get used to it after a while. Uh, a thumb stub would be nice, but it'll, you know, the overall look of the knife would be changed. But uh, style over function. In uh, opening only. I think once you get the hang of it, it opens just fine. Yeah, so. I, do, I don't, it's I don't, not, it doesn't bother me on a day-to-day yeah. -day basis. Yeah. Uh, yes, there are knives that I have that open easier, but it doesn't really deter me. I, 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 I like the knife enough that it, 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 that doesn't necessarily deter me from, uh, from it. Okay. Cool. Anybody got any other thoughts? I think uh, Big Ronda's ready to go to bed. Big yeah, Ronda, Big Ronda. Ronda. All right. Hey, do you want to see us out, Alistair? Mr. No Thumb. Like hey, see you guys. <laughs> Bye, Internet. <laughs>